Hey, what's up guys? Kevin here from Snowboard Pro Camp. In this video, I've got some tips for doing cliff drops on your snowboard. This is one of my favorite things to do on a powder day is to get together with your friends, find some cliff drops, and just launch yourself into the powder. On this day, we were actually snowboarding in Japan and we found this dam that had a perfect ride in and landing for cliff drops. The snow was actually really deep as well. So all the things that go into making for a good cliff drop session, The first tip for cliff drops is you want to have a good ride in. So giving yourself a few feet that you can point your board straight towards the takeoff. This way you can get set up and ensure that you're going to be balanced in the air and have a good landing. One of the biggest problems that I've seen for cliff drops is people not giving themselves enough time before the edge of the cliff. And then you can't get your board straight before the edge of the cliff and you end up going off it sideways and unbalanced. The next tip guys is once you're in the air, you wanna to start to bend your knees and spot your landing. By bending your knees, it's gonna keep you more balanced in the air and it's also gonna get you ready for that landing so that you can absorb it and ride it out. Yeah, whoa. The final tip guys, and this is probably the most important, is visualizing the landing and the ride out. This is something that I always do. I always picture how I'm gonna land and then the two or three turns I'm gonna do afterwards. This will do a few things. I think it'll help to give you more confidence because you're visualizing landing and riding it out. And also by picturing two or three turns, you're not gonna slam on the brakes after one turn. A very common mistake is people try to kill all their speed right away on their heel turn and that can cause you to slide out. So by doing your speed check over two or three turns, it's just gonna allow you to ride it out uh, with a lot more control. A couple quick bonus tips guys, when you're doing these drops with your friends, always try and find a spot in the snow that's untouched to drop into. On this day, there's a lot of bomb holes and we just kept trying to take off from different locations so that we were dropping into fresh snow. Another quick tip guys is you want to carry momentum off of the cliff drop. With a bit of momentum coming off of the takeoff, you may go a little bit bigger, but on the landing, you're not coming so straight down off of the cliff. You're landing with momentum, which will just make it easier to land and ride it out. I hope these tips will help you guys land cliff drops. If you guys have any questions, definitely leave them below. A quick announcement, we recently got a new five pack of Snowboard Pro Camp stickers. The last pack sold out in a week, so if you're interested in picking up some Snowboard Pro Camp stickers, definitely check out the link below. A couple of the stickers I'm really stoked on is a large black sticker with the Snowboard Pro Camp text, and it's a transfer sticker, so it peels off smoothly onto your board. Another sticker I'm excited about is the extra small Snowboard Pro Camp logo. This is a fun sticker that you can throw onto your phone or anywhere where a tiny sticker like this can go. Thanks to everyone who bought the last pack of stickers. I hope you guys are stoked on these ones. Thanks as always for supporting the channel guys and I'll see you in the next one.